Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to show you a trick in Python Pandas which allows you to convert a, let's say, not so nice data frame quite quickly into a proper data frame. What do I mean by that? Well, let's have a look. Here I create a data frame which contains only three columns, which is a student ID, a name, and then an additional column which contains a dictionary. So let me show you how that looks like. Let me first execute this, and then let me enter a new line. And let's say df.head, just to show the first five lines, but in this case, we only have three. So you see the issue we have in here. So you load the data, and you have an index, you have a student ID, the name, everything is fine. But then you have an additional column which contains a dictionary. And now the question becomes, how can we extract the data from this dictionary actually into proper columns? And the way it works is we can leverage a specific function in pandas, which is JSON normalize. I'm going to show you how that works. So if I go to new line here, I can say, in this case, PD is my abbreviation for pandas dot JSON underscore normalize. And if I do that, I can reference the specific column, which in our case is student info. So I can say df and then student info, like that, info. And if I execute this, then you see now I get a proper data frame here, which is gender and age. So basically, the data is extracted correctly. So all I need to do is basically con uh, combining, on this case concatenating, my first data frame, the original one, with this new data frame. And again, I'm not going to get rid of this column in here. So I can simply say, in this case, something like pd.concat, right? Concatenate. Then I need to put in the specific, in this case, data frames I want to add. So I could say, in this case, simply my first one. And from the first one, I take only, in this case, two columns, which is, uh, in this case, the student ID, student ID, and the student name. I could also drop those if I want. So various ways to do that. But let's say student uh, name and ID. So I have my two columns from this, this one here. And then I want to combine it actually with the second one, which is this one we already have here. So we can simply copy this if we want, and then paste it here inside like that. And the final thing we need to do is simply specify the axis. So we say axis is equal to one, because we want to basically concatenate them uh, horizontally, right? And then if we execute this, we see that now we got our proper data frame regarding the student ID, student name, the gender, and the age. And everything is fine. And now we can dive deeper and do our analysis. So that's it for this trick. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like, also share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.